Yo, 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 what's up, people? This is your boy P. Ross back in the building for Nerd Life 513. And right now, we're going to talk about The Lion King. Okay? The Lion King, which grossed at the box office so far $76.6 million. Okay? And I am proud to say that me and the family went to go check this out this weekend. And you know what? It was actually pretty, pretty good. You know what I mean? So let's get into some of the actors um, right quick. You had James Earl Jones, who voiced Mufasa. Um, then you had, uh, it's hard to pronounce his name, so if if I jack it up, um, Chiwetel Ejo 4. He played, uh, he voiced Scar. Uh, J.D. McCreary voiced the young Simba. Um, Shahida. Right, Joseph voiced the young Nyla. Um, then as the characters got older, um, Donald Glover, a.k.a. Childish Gambino, whichever one you want to call him, uh, portrayed the grown-up Simba. Beyonce betrayed uh, the grown-up Nyla. So, definitely great movie, okay? Um, I was really impressed with the uh, CGI in this movie. Like, I, I know that the, the characters and, and the animals weren't real, but there was a certain realism about them. You know what I mean? And from my point of view, the, the story, you really are engaged in the story of The Lion King. And I feel like this one being a little bit realer than the animation, like, it really draws you in. You know what I mean? And as usual, it's the age-old story. Um, of of brother being jealous of another brother, um, bigger brother get the woman, and the oh the younger brother get jealous. You know what I mean? And it, it's just like total setup. You know what I mean? A jealous brother who would be willing to kill his brother, but then in the end, the son comes through and claims the throne and does what he has to do. So. That, that's really all the Lion King is about. It's an age-old story that we've all heard of. We've probably heard of things like this in the streets, in our families, so on and so forth. But overall, this was a great freaking movie. I highly recommend this movie. You know what I mean? Because the CGI and the cinematography of this movie, I feel, is just great. It really is. It's just freaking great. So... Um, if I had to really rate this on, on a, a five-star scale, uh, I think I would give it a four and a half. It's, it's definitely worth going back to see, you know, um, it is definitely worth going to the movies to see. I would recommend, you know, all my movie goers who, who are, who's downing this movie. And I'm here to tell y'all, it's definitely worth going to see, you know what I'm saying? Not only from... You know, some of the cast that I named from Donald Glover to Beyonce, um, Chance the Rapper, um, Seth Rogen, uh, who else you have? Jay Lee. You know, so it, it, it's a star studded cast. It's a star studded cast. And what's so funny is, is like with James Earl Jones portraying the voice of Mufasa, you know what I mean? It was kind of funny because when he talked, I kind of thought like Darth Vader. You know what I mean? It, it, this was really, really a great movie. Um, you got Alfre Woodard. You know what I'm saying? She played Sarabi. This is just great. It's great. So go check it out. You know what I'm saying? That's my recommendation. What do y'all think? Holla at your boy P. Ross. Nerd Life 513. And we out. Peace.